What happens to the student with behavioral challenges? Oftentimes they sit in the classroom stressed, overstimulated, and not learning. A lower percentage of, of this generation of students will get a four-year degree than their parents or grandparents. I really think uh, all young people in America should have the, the opportunity to have a publicly funded education that creates access to college and careers. Destiny Ward is a, a fantastic young lady who sadly faced a lot of challenges growing up. Destiny came to us, she was seven years old, we adopted her privately, we were her fourth permanent family. She left behind nine brothers and sisters in three different households. So when she came here, she was in uh, seven years old in the first grade for the second time. She couldn't count to five on her fingers and she couldn't spell her first name. Uh, she had ADHD, which had been undiagnosed. She had PTSD, which was causing flare-ups in the classroom. So she's very uncomfortable when she's not performing in the classroom. So she kind of either shuts down or acts up. Because of the challenges from Destiny's past, uh, she wasn't learning in school. And, uh, and it wasn't an environment that allowed her to learn and allowed her to enjoy the learning process. We were kind of between a rock and a hard place with her education. We could leave her in to underperform and feel constantly rejected and criticized. There's one option. Or we could find something else. Uh, Destiny's mom looked into online learning and they, they gave it a try. I wasn't sure how to manage um, teaching her, teaching to her, her special needs. Uh, and I knew that teachers are trained in that. So, um, so it works, you know, every kid is different. And that's one of the things that I love about online learning is that we acknowledge that and um, it, it embrace it and teach to, to what they need, not, not to what we have to teach to. As a result of online learning, Destiny is catching up. She's learning uh, at a pace that works for her. She's enjoying the learning experience. She's even talking about going to college early. We're seeing ter just terrific success from her. You know, now she's talking about, um, you know, college, what she wants to do when she grows up, you know, things like that, where before it was, you know, can we get to graduation? There's certain kids that have needs that can't be met really well in a classroom. I think that uh, kids that have needs like that are going to do better in a specialized program like, like this.